Is James Cameron, all right? Uh oh. James Cameron, who, you know, he has said, first of all, brilliant filmmaker, unbelievable. The not one, but the two top box office box office films of all time, with Avatar and Titanic. That you can't give this guy enough respect. Clearly. But he has said some really stupid things in the past. Like, I remember when he went after Wonder Woman and everybody got upset. And he's just said some really stupid things that I have taken him to task on. Many people have taken him to task on because we haven't appreciated those sorts of things. Well, guess what? James Cameron doesn't care if we want to take him to task because <laughs> he was being asked about, uh, what was it, Aquaman. He was being asked about Aquaman and, you know, if he felt that James Wan was now kind of in the conversation with James Cameron, you know what I mean? If the Jameses are in the same conversation now and what he thought. And in classic James Cameron style, he gave a very backhanded compliment that started friendly and then turned kind of trashing. And here's what James Cameron had to say. He said the following, he said, talking about Aquaman, I think it's great fun. I never could have made that film because it requires this kind of total dreamlike disconnect from any sense of physics or reality. People just kind of zoom around underwater because they propel themselves mentally, I guess. I don't know, but it's cool. <laughs> you buy it on its own terms. Come back when you hit, and go talking about the James Wan comparison. Come back when you hit your second billion and you're well on your way to your third. Then we'll talk again. <laughs> Cameron says, come back when you hit not one billion, but two billion. And oh, by the way, a couple of them at two billion and well on your way to your third. And then we'll talk. All right. So that's James Cameron's kind of uh, kind of thoughts on this. And on Aquaman, Rob, you hear him talking <laughs> like this. You hear him giving this kind of statement. What's the first reaction you have? God love James Cameron. I mean, I, you know, <laughs> I'm I'm a huge James Cameron fan, but you know, he's he he has been he's been doing the research and development for the entire film industry for the last thirty years. I mean, ever since he created the this had ILM make the pseudopod for the Abyss that we talked about, which led to T two, which led to uh, everything he's done up to now. And you know, he when when he wants to dive down to the bottom of the Marianas Trench, he does that for real. And when he was making the Abyss, he's like yeah, why don't we build all of our sets in this unfinished nuclear reactor and we'll fill it up with water and we'll do it for real. I mean, he's he's in a whole different league. And I, you know, I think in a way, like I'm always going on about verisimilitude. Somebody right. called me the gatekeeper of verisimilitude the other day. I'm like, God, I love that. Um, but that's what James Cameron has strived for is that ultimate realism. And I think, you know, obviously the oceans are something very close to his heart. And when he went and saw Aquaman, he immediately had to disassociate any of his mental faculties with with watching the movie because there was not a shred of reality in it. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. You know, so I understand that. But on the, on the other hand, he did say, you know, that it was fun and that he enjoyed <laughs> it. He didn't trash James Wan or, or or any of the filmmakers for making something that's completely divorced from reality. But that was kind of the point, you know. And there's nothing wrong with that. I think if you if you go the entire other direction, you're not looking for verisimilitude. That that's okay. You know, it's funny because it, he kind of did the same thing that he did with Wonder Woman. Oh, yeah, it's good, but it's garbage. Well, I mean, <laughs> just the way he's like, oh, no, great fun. Yeah, I mean, I've spent thousands of hours underwater and nothing looks like that. And if you want to suspend disbelief and watch that tripe, sure, it's good. It's fine. Uh, but I'll, I'll tell you what. Sure. I was <laughs> really, um, as, a, as just a movie fan, I was as pissed off at James Cameron's comments about Wonder Woman pretty much as much as anybody else. But I'll say, I'm actually going to give James Cameron a pass on this. I'm going to give him a pass on this because on the one hand, no, there are very few people, no, let me go so far as to say this. There is nobody, guys, nobody in the film industry today, not one, that has the authority to speak about what underwater is like right. than James Cameron. There, there's nobody. Nobody can say, I know, no, because Cameron has literally, and it wasn't just Titanic. He's done all of his undersea documentary and all that kind of stuff. I mean, this guy spent more time underwater maybe than Aquaman. I mean, so <laughs> he can speak to that. And you know what? When he puffs out his chest, when somebody's trying to compare him to James Wan, and he gives the, come back and talk to me when you've hit your second billion and well on your way to doing it for a third time. Guess what? You can go, that's kind of a dick thing to... 
but you are the one who is permitted to say that because you are the one who has hit two billion not once but twice and hold the top two spots. And so there's a little bit of Dwayne Johnson in there. You know what? Was it a little dickish for him to say? Maybe. But um, I'm going to give him a bit of a pass. But I, if I were James Wan, I'd go, listen, dude, my last movie, uh, well, one of my last movies did gross $1.5 billion. That would be Furious 7. So oh. I made two movies that grossed ah, billion. But none of them that have hit $2 billion. And Cameron has that's done true. it twice. That's why he's like, oh, that's adorable, your $1 billion film. Talk to me when you've hit the second billion. Talk to I me know. when you've hit that. And did you the little last little thing he said there, by the way, let me bring this up again. This last little thing he puts in there, because this is now him talking about his upcoming Avatar film. He goes, and you're well on your way to your third. <laughs> then you'll talk. So this is Cameron basically saying, kid, I've got two two billion dollar films by my math that makes me twice as good as you and oh by the way my next film's going to hit two billion which i don't think it will i don't think his next film's going to hit two billion dollars i don't think I, I think maybe if they released avatar two four years ago maybe but i think it's going to make a buttload of money it's going to make a huge amount of money no doubt i don't think it'll hit two billion but anything is possible in this business as we have seen if I was right, James guys. Wan, I'd go. I would say, I'd, let's see what the uh, box office for Battle Angel Alita is next Monday. Well, yeah. But, yeah, but he didn't direct it. I know, but he still. didn't direct Battle Angel Alita, so he was like, "Whatever, kid. I've got the two number one all time box office film. Oh, and the number two all time box office film. Where are your films in the top five? But you know, again, I don't think he's trashing James Wan. I just think he's doing a little bit of Dwayne Johnsonisms. I think right. he's just doing a little bit of of wrestling uh, kind of terminology there. Yeah, it's like a playful pissing contest is all that's happening. Yeah, I don't take anything too deadly serious about it. I just thought it was fun. And like, I gave him a lot of shit for the Wonder Woman comments. But on this one, I personally give him a pass. So let's see if anything else. What do you guys think about that? Do you think James Cameron was totally cool to say something like that and it's all in fun? Or does it bother you as much as it did the Wonder Woman thing? Jump down in the comment section below and let me know your thoughts.